Hello everybody, welcome to Mommy Plus Kitchen. Today, I would like to teach you Korean Hangul. by me, Mommy Plier. And the reason I started to teach you Korean on my YouTube is because I believe I can teach you in a way it can be easy and fun to learn. So if you are interested in learning Korean with mommy plier, keep watching. So, Hangul was created under King Sejong's order during the Joseon Dynasty in 1446. He was the fourth king of the Joseon Dynasty in Korea in 1443 King ordered to his most smartest scholars from Jipyeonjeon to create writing system despite this hanja which is Chinese character which has been persisted as the main writing system of the elite and rich classes for thousand years. So King Sejong established a place inside of his palace called Jipyeonjeon where he gathered smartest um, scholars to be in to study and also help with kings in many areas. Among those scholars named Shin Sukju, Song Sammun, Jung Inji, Che Hang, etc. So the legend of Hango says that one of those scholar received the idea of how to create Korean alphabet through his window cells. Interesting. These are the old traditional Korean house buildings back in that time. Yes, Hangul writing, you need to remember 19 consonants And also, you need to also remember the 20, total 21 of vowels. It looks daunting at first, but I can show to you here very simple way of remembering these alphabets. 
So according to the le legend, which I heard from my mother, says that those scholars who received the order from the great King Sejong was in deep distress. And one night, one of those scholars happened to come up with ideas on how to create these Korean alphabets. So let's check it out. In old days, in Korean houses, they have a windows a lot like this, round or square in shape. So these windows were made from bamboos and um, rice papers to penetrate the light coming from outside. So here are the 19 consonants, which we eventually going to study how to write. And, um, but if you understand this principle, it will be much easier for you to master in a very short time. So the first letter is, of the constant is G sound, right here. Almost like a G sound, G, G, or G. So, shall we see where he got the idea of this character? Look at this window. And I'm gonna write right here. This is the first letter of a consonant alphabet. G sound, right here, honey. G, G. Kokiok, g, g. Okay, this is a neon, nun sound. G, and if you look at the next to it, shall we find neon? Look, neon. Next is d sound, d, d. No problem. We go from here. It's a good sound. D sound. G nun d. Next to is lil sound. R or L sound. Lil. Watch. Yep. Lil. Watch me writing alphabet so you learn also at the same time. This is the M sound. Mm. No problem. You can find right here. Mm. Next. This is the B sound, like a Bob, B. We call B. So let's go here. It's the S sound, sh sound, s sound, s sh. So it's a little different, but no problem. We can figure it out somewhere here, extra. See, if you go look at here, uh, ah, see? Maybe the one of the windows, window was a little bit crooked. You know, one of these bamboos was, out of alignment, so he happened to go, hmm, that looked like a sound, she sound. Interesting. Very creative, mine. This is the ing sound, I-N-G, ing, or sometimes it called no sound, ing, 
mm, mm sound. You can use in front of um, vowels to helping sound as helping sound or underneath for ink sound, almost like a singing. So let's say, why not? Young son deserve this gigantic here, outer of the window. What do you think? Let's give all just like the earth. Helping sound, okay? Or sound, or ing sound, or no sound to it. Helping sound. Helping sound um, give the best credit here. Mm -hmm. Next is a J sound. G sound. G. G. Let's find the G. So the G sound will be, we're going to write find it here. Yeah. This house was a little old. So we have to find the G. Okay. Maybe one of the bamboo cell went this way and that way. Mm-hmm. That's a G. Now, this is a chi sound, C -H -I, C-H-I, chi, 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 Okay, it's getting old here. Mm -hmm. You see that, double bamboo? And you put right here. Mm -hmm. Remember, not all windows are equal. <laughs> now, this is a k sound, almost like a k, k, k. K sound. K, k, k. So let's, oh, right here. I found it, I found it, I found it. K, k. This is how you write K. And these are the consonants need to pronounce a little stronger. T, P, He. Along with chi k. Okay, so let's find out t sound. T, like almost like a T sound, okay? Shall we? Hmm, I think I saw right here. T. 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 T sound, okay? P, P, almost like a P sound in alphabet, P. So shall we? Hmm. T, P, P, right here. P. And H sound. Like H sound, hu hu, like happy, hu hu hu, ha ha ha, hu sound, very happy sound. Ying with the two stick on top. Shall we find? Hmm. Look through this thing where you can put this hu sound to it. So let's go ahead and put it right here. You have a two stick and the face circle, make a ha ha ha, the sound. So, shall we repeat? G, N, D, L, M, B, O, S, S, J, T, K, T, P, H. Next. These are the double called double consonants. Why? Look at this carefully. If you look at this, you see double g sound. You see that? Double d sound. Double b sound. Double sh sound. Double z sound. J sound. See that? It, this is originally obviously from this, and let's find this one. Double g sound, g, and you put a little one more here. Make ka. So this is a consonant g. 
double consonant ka. Ku ka. So you put it right here. Let's find out about this d sound. Double d sound mean you pronounce stronger. I'm going to emphasize right here by strong. Strong. Instead of a single d, you put one more here. Double d. Make Th, ta, instead of d, ta, stronger, ta, 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 and you make stronger sound. Ba. So by itself, ba, ba. Yes, ba, ba. Almost like um, when you write uh, in English, like a pharmacy, you add H in there, PH instead of a P, right? Same principle. Ba. And double makes ba. And this is S sound, and by the double S, shall we? Right here, it's a sound, soft S sound. But if you add one more S in there, make stronger sound. And sa, sa. Instead of a sa. By itself is soft S ha double make a stronger more emphasized sound uh, such as sa sa a sa but you sa 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 listen to the uh, in the end uh, but uh, not pronounced but it's there sa. See that sa sa. Now the last one is cha. This is from obviously from cha sound. You see that right? Cha, j sound, right? Or j sound. Cha. So if you put one more here, pronounce as cha, 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 cha. Ooh, so. These are the 19 consonants in Korean alphabets. Ooh. So, what do you think? Not so bad. So, if you can um, watch this and put this picture onto your head for now, try not to memorize too hard because as we learn more words in the future uh, you're gonna be able to obtain this spelling naturally okay next session i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you how the vowels also created from this window okay thank you for watching and uh, remember learning with mommy plus kitten is easy and fun see you next time